நான் இங்கே படித்து முன்னாடி <laughs> Uh, before Vasar, Vasar is coming. Vasar is coming. You can see the photo of Vidya Dhan. Yes, I am. You can see the photo of Vidya Dhan. 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 This restaurant is not one man. There is no one man. இப்போ உள்ள இருக்காது உடுப்பிய அதுதான் நான் குடியிருந்தது அதான் உங்களை வீடு முந்தியா அப்போ ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் இருக்கே இல்லை இப்போ வந்தால் ரெஸ்டாரண்ட் முந்தி வீடு முந்தி வீடு தான் உங்களோட வீடா உங்களை ஒரு முறையும் விரைவு காண்றேன் கோயிலில் காண்றேன் பக்கத்தில் இப்போ எங்கே இருக்கிறீங்க இப்போ எங்கே தாங்க இருக்கிறீங்க கிட்டத்தான் அப்போ யாரோட இருக்கிறீங்க கார் வந்திருக்கா நீங்க பொலிக்கிட்ட போறாங்க ரொம்ப சந்தோஷம் ஐயா உங்களோட பேர் என்ன ஐயா because one of my students had a heart attack mm. and he collapsed on the cricket field and uh, so there are about three or four of us who are umpiring about 75 years old and, and in my case I, I had already had a bypass so they said you better stop <laughs> one is enough on the field so at that time I, I don't know what to do with my weekend because that was what I was doing in the weekend you see. then the temple asked me to come and help out in the, in the school we have a side of some school so i got involved with that and uh, of course uh, having a video camera and taking some pictures i started taking pictures of the kids for their events you know uh, they have a navratri vela drama night and things like that so i started taking some pictures and then they when they perform on friday uh, just i i i thought it somewhere you know just what what i find here <coughs> the saiva samya school is that there's a lot of rehearsals going on and, and children come from all the way from bootland and clementi and all over and they even have about four or five rehearsals before the actual program and i said look if the parents are spending so much time on it i think we should somehow recognize them and the only way i thought we could do something unique was to take a photograph or a video and and give it to the child as a kind of a keepsake and hopefully will uh, my whole idea is that we want to encourage children and you know our own religion is important to us and uh, at least now if you click it used to be my religion for that <laughs> so I, i started getting involved and then i find that the kids are liking it and so on so gradually i don't know we we have a good group of teachers on top of it and uh, this year even without any advertisement whatsoever we had 18 new students nothing just just by word of mouth you know the kid is happy he tells his friend that, you know this is happening this school they they, they, they came all from all over the singapore from all over singapore and <laughs> and we have about 16 buses to bring them from all parts of Singapore to the school and take them back at 12.15. How far some of them are living? Woodlands, no about plan. 15 kilometers. Okay. In, in, in Singapore, 15, kilo, uh, yeah. sorry, 15 miles or 20 kilometers yeah, but take is a, a huge distance. But it takes uh, an hour, more than an hour, depending on the time. Uh, it it takes more than one hour to come yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, so it's all, who is... Sorry? who is paying for the transport they they pay a nominal amount yeah, yeah, in fact yeah. the temple 
over and above mm. what we collect for fees and mm -hmm. transport. Mm -hmm. Temple is subsidizing about between 40 to 50,000 a year mm -hmm. on the school. Mm -hmm. yeah. how, what is the current strength of the... We, we have about 300 students now. 300. So how many hours they meet every week? Uh, they come on a Sunday yeah. from 9 to 12, 15. Yeah, 9 to 3 hours. In 3 hours, yeah. So how but many in the for class? For them, yeah, it's yeah. about five sure. and a half hours because yeah, you yeah, know, sure, the trans sure, transport. Sure. For so, some of them. So yes. they, they learn Tirumurai? They learn Tirumurai. Mm. We teach them Saiva Samyam. Mm. And with the smaller classes, we, we run from nursery right up to secondary two. Mm. Uh, for the nursery and the kindergarten, we teach some Tamil also. Okay, okay, okay. And we do some speech, some drama. And they take part in the competitions organized by the Tirumurama and And that, that keeps them yeah. going. I think the success depending on the child, parents, and the teacher, and, and the organization. And, if, and of course, the, the big yeah, man up there. Of course, they are, he is the director. <laughs> so we can't help that yeah, one. Yeah, we, we can't move without him. So if we are sincere, obviously, you find that support comes all from yeah, all of the places. That's, that's we are happy that Singapore, I mean, all the school, at the moment, Singapore, most of the temples are running similar programs. Yeah. So the, most, of the, well, most of the temples have a favor of they were in classes. Uh, Saiva Samyam, you know, yeah. why are we doing these things? Mm -hmm. uh, at, at secondary one and two, we even teach them some elements of Saiva Siddhanta. Because they study Tamil in the school, so you don't have uh, less problem. But, but we need it at the nursery and no, kindergarten. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because a lot of the nurseries don't yeah. teach Tamil. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So uh, that's why we do nursery, even mm -hmm. up to P1, primary mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. we teach some Tamil. So you have competition to encourage them. Sorry? Your competitions? Yes, we interact. have our own competitions yeah. at the end of the year. And uh, we also take part in the Thirumaraman Nadu competition, which is a national competition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, the idea being, of course, you know, because, say, for the sake of the Thirumaraman Nadu competition, they learn four or five songs. Then, the, in the book, we have about four or five songs. So, in the course of a year, they have learned about ten songs. So what we say is, say from nursery to secondary two, if you go that far, you will have learned about a hundred songs. Do you allow them to sing in the, in the temple as yes, well? Yes, we let them sing, we, we make them sing in the temple. Okay. Well, not not uh, in front there, yeah. but on a, a Friday, uh, once a month, uh, we have one Friday yeah. allocated to the school and the children sing. Like a bhajan, like a group, yeah. Like a no, no, not bhajan, not bhajan. Like tevara. Tevara. Go uh, sing. As a part of the puja? Sorry? As a part of the puja? No, not No, puja. no, not part of the puja. Okay. After the puja, After I do the puja. Do okay. we, they say sit uh, uh, facing the Vasanta Mandapa okay. and they sing three, yeah, four, that's, five, that's the varad, uh, yeah. uh, depending on the class. And also the dress code also important for the children. Sorry? Uh, they dress well, isn't it? Their dress code? Oh, yes. Yeah, you have to be specific on that one as well. So, uh, so over a period of time, you find that Shanba and I are doing a good job. Well, uh, he is doing... <laughs> <laughs> Who am I to say yeah. what he's doing? But you know, I mean, I think without his blessings, nothing could have happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I have seen the changes, you know. Now, now there's a different form of temple here. Yes. And the social uh, uh, awareness is here. Yes, yes. And it's not only for prayers, at the same time, also it's helping people to understand our religion, yes. the practices. That's right. Uh, it's so, not a blind. Once in a while now, when there is an Abhishekam. Yeah. We have a Thirumurai Abhishek. That means instead of the priest chanting in Sanskrit, uh -huh. Odhavar sings uh, appropriate Thirumurams. Ah, oh, that's a good thing. I mean, are they doing it today? Huh? Are they no, doing not it? today. Okay. It depends on the way, Karan. Okay, okay. The, the way oh, Karan says, given a... I want the, the, the temple. Okay, you're given an option. Huh? Oh, you have given an option to do that? Yes, okay, yes because... we have that option. That's a good because thing. Uh... Normal Abhishekam, yeah. he is chanting in Sanskrit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But when we have a, what we call a Tirumurai Abhishekam, yeah. when there are about four or five people who do this, yeah. okay. Day, okay. Uh, then it is the Odhvar Sikhs. So uh, what we do is we have this Tirumurai Abhishekam mm -hmm. in which, uh, uh, depending on what uh, Abhishekam is being done inside, Odhuvar has selected, I mean, he knows what are the Abhishekams and the, the sequence. So, he has selected a Thevaram from appropriate Thevarams 
to accompany that. So in other words, when there's a Pala Vijayakam, it's something about somewhere, some saint is saying something about Pala Vijayakam, like that. So he has chosen a whole lot. And in between, we have also got a group. I mean, and what we've done, the last time we did it was, uh, we, as I told you, we run this school. Mm -hmm. At the end of the school year, we have what is called the teacher's homa. Mm -hmm. The teachers get together and do a Ganapati homa. Mm -hmm. And that Ganapati homa, last year, 21, uh, 2013, we decided to do it as a Tirumura uh, Abhishekha. So the parents, the students all come in. And uh, Oduwar will sing. He, he had prepared the song sheet for and we distribute to everybody. And the children and the parents all join in with him. It's a great thing, you know. Huh? Uh, yes. That is Ampika oh, revolution, revolutionary. We, we had about 100 people there. So. And it was beautiful. Is all of them uh, agreeable? The atmosphere is fantastic. So there's no no problem. A priest doesn't uh, so pro priest doesn't protest. No, no, we tell him beforehand. Yeah, okay. Come but he does his own moment. He gets his. I mean, yeah. he, he he gets his normal thing. Just that yeah. he he doesn't have the uh, Mic microphone yeah. in front of him. Okay, let him. So he's still saying it and doing yeah, it. Yeah, let him chant his mantras. He, but he chants his mantras. Okay. And we are doing it. Uh, uh, this one will have the microphone and, uh, okay. and that kind of thing. That's it, they have a double up and thing. It's not, about the first, it's not the first time. There are about three or four devotees who will insist on the Tamil Abhishek, mm -hmm. the Tirumur okay. Who are the people in here we can identify? Uh, I want to talk there to them. There is a, a Mrs. Uh, Dr. Subodhini. Okay. And there is a Mr. Sivanikam. Uh, as far as I know, there are two, but I know there are one or two more. So are they here, anybody today? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's a good thing, you know, your school is... Because this is the way people at the moment involve Tamil into that. They're doing that right now. I, uh, I don't know whether you've heard of Sachi. Oh, they're the in the school. They have now uh, laid the foundation stone for a, uh, an academy that will teach people how to do their arjuna in Tamil. Karuvulatla, mm. Tamil. Mm. And it seems there were something like 55 temples in, 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 uh, in Ceylon have volunteered to do it in Tamil. Mm -hmm. Because, you see, you take the Catholic Church, mm. the Catholic Church has moved away from that is long, long ago. Mm. They had their services in English, in Tagalog, any, every, any, any conceivable language. Mm. Okay. I, I have full respect for the mantras and all that. I don't know what's happening. Mm. But if, if the thing was said in Tamil, I would be able to understand it. Mm. But again, I know in Singapore context, we have a problem because we have more than half in this temple even, a lot of North Indians. Now, there are other issues at the moment. Our children are living overseas, like Australia, yes. England, all of, most of them are. For them, even if Tamil is a foreign language to them. Yes. For my daughter, it's a foreign language because when she went to school, yeah. there was no Tamil in the school. Yeah. She had to study Malay as so a second what language. So what is the... What is the, you know, push toward there, but, that but kind my of... My point is this, my point is this. Do they understand Sanskrit? If you don't understand Tamil, no. They, they say if you don't understand both them... You don't understand that. Sanskrit either. I later, that's the thing, you know. Look, my point is this, yeah, you don't understand Sanskrit, you don't understand Tamil. But the Sanskrit, is, you know, is a true... Has a certain... Well, but... But we but, employ still the people who but, know the knowledge of yeah, that. I know, I know. I, I don't know want to employ anybody but, who knows the... But, According to Oduwar, and Mutumar uh, was here before me, they say, no, for every, every one of these things, we have an equivalent one in Tamil. You see, like uh, Western medicine, uh, medicine and the and Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic medicine. So, which is best, which is good, is there no argument? I know. For some, something, we need that. We don't want to, because we are half-baked. We, we think we cannot dictate the, which is the way to go about. We just watch it and we are comfortable, we take it as it is. That's right. The what Shanbhav and I are doing at the moment, parallelly running thing, that's the best parallelly way to do it. Parallelly running, and it, it, again, it's a very small 
number. Number. Uh, in a whole year, they do about 120, 130 grand of the home. Yeah. So about four, well, five it, are being done yeah. in Tamil. If the Upiyas are wanted, let it carry on that way. Yes, yes. And the, still the priests carry on with the same kid together. Yes. That's fine. Yes. That is the best way to go about compromise, and that's the best for everybody. Yes. We don't want to antagonize the priests. We don't want to antagonize the people. I don't think... And all that is a God... Hinduism was ever yeah. anti an antagonistic religion. Because that's the thing. The people are more like a fundamental... They I don't like people are fundamentalists and say, you tell me done in time, ah, you tell me done. Ah. That the way. I that, don't like that, that. That doesn't ring a bell with me yeah, either. Because religion is based on the Shiva, I mean, Anbe Shiva. But you, what you feel yeah. inside. Yeah, but do you feel doesn't mean you don't impose your idea to anybody else, you know. But you see, when you do that, you're, you're, you're falling in line with all the other religions. Other religions. And Hinduism is supposed to be kind of broad minded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 when I used to teach Hindu studies in school okay. in English. I know the puja is going on, that's fantastic. You want to go there? No, no that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's finish so, it now in Aranga. I always tell them, mm. in Hinduism, we, we have so many books. Mm. So, it's a curse sometimes, but it's a blessing because according to your level, you can choose a book that suits your level. I mean, the more intellectual person may choose the Upanishads and the commentaries by Sankara. And the less person may choose a Purana like, uh, what, Skanda Purana or Thirvalayada Purana or something like that. And he is comfortable with that. So we have, we have different levels to choose to suit different types of people. And I, I always compare that yeah. with, a, with a buffet. I'm happy that you are, Senpai, when I come to recognize this. Because it, it, what happened is over this temple, Every year they change committees. Every everyone come with their own idea, and the confusion start to develop. Uh, one of the good things here is that we have a fairly uh, progressive, uh, forward-looking chairman and a committee. To so just imagine, in the time that we have short of money to, to spend forty to fifty thousand on a school, and just because. You are thinking of the future, 20 years from now, mm. who is going to run this temple? Yeah. Right? Unless these children come up and we give them some idea of religion and, and what it's all about, what will happen to these temples? In 20 years, they may become museums. The problem is at the moment, most temples are run by people who have no knowledge of religion. Correct. They are, they are... No, no. Because we have a moment. chairman yeah. who says, I don't know much about religion, yeah. but I'm prepared to listen no, to no. experts. But anyway, he accepts his, his life, and accepts his, uh, you know, the, the limitation and allow other people to do that. Yes. But yes. unfortunately, yes. some people, they don't know the limitation. They think, I know and everything, they but don't allow, other people. allow others to do that. That's the issue but here. This is, this is where I think we are very fortunate that we have a committee that is uh, progressive, you know, looking forward. And, I mean... 40,000 is when I, when I started getting involved with the school. And then I realized, my God, these people have been spending 30 to 40, and now it's coming up. Every year, the, 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 the cost is increasing. So they're using $40,000 annually to the, run the school? Yeah. In addition, the school. In addition? It's a subsidy on the school. Yeah. Because we collect some school fees. Yeah. So this, so it will cost year. more than that? Yeah, much, much more. Much more. So you give free books as well, isn't it? Anyway, that's a great thing, the visionary, you know, I think that's the way to go about it. Because we collect millions of dollars in uh, annual income, percentage we spend, very little in the education, that is really, you know, that's more fundamental. Yes, yes. There's no issue. Mm -hmm. We don't want to spend money, you know, we spend money, because that's a money-making process. Yes, sir. No that's process. All. That's all. Yeah. But here, we, we have this group that's prepared to spend on a school, on education, yeah. on religious education. Saiva Samyam, teach Tevarams. And also you are the forefront and you, a lot of other temples are following you. Because other front, other want to have, you know, do the similar ones because they want to keep it up with the knowledge. You know? yes. I'm happy to see that. So, uh, but all, all, practically all temples now mm. have an Oduvar and uh, they have the Varam process. One thing I noticed, they went to other temples in Singapore. Yeah. They also collect food items and distribute to the... Un what, how are you doing something similar here? 
Sorry? Are you collecting food for people to distribute to the, um, you know? Uh, uh, we do it on, on ad hoc basis, like yeah. when there was the tsunami. Yeah, yeah. Was, uh, but, but some, uh, but temple, not on a regular, but some no. temple regular. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We do have a charity program around Deepavali. Uh, we, we have one program where we give bursaries to needy children and, and some uh, uh, families. But it's a uh, uh, On the scale of money that we spend on the school, uh, it will be, it, it fails. It, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think you cannot do all at the same time. Right? Everything. everything else. And all you need a building fund, you know, a lot of money is spent on that, keeping up beauty of this place. Anyway, I'm very happy to pick up a few points from what you had. It's interesting to, you know. Well, you know, I think all his, his, his work, and we, we are barely doing his work. Because, uh, I don't know, the more I get involved with these things, the more I, more I see his hidden hand in, in various things. Mm -hmm. and, and once in a while, I, I think I'm doing it. And then I get a hard talk. Okay, that's the thing. Yeah. See what I just. It's all test. It's all testing time. Ah. Testing time for some people. Yes. And he says, "Hey, look, you forgot me." <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And suddenly you realize, yeah. This, this, this is the trouble. You know. I think we all in the world, you know, we are very simple. We we, we are very small. We we don't even a small dot. Singapore, a dot of this world. A nice saying in today's Sai Baba's talk of the day. He says, This is the earth, that India is a small part of that. Then he says, Kerala state is a smaller part, then Putrapati is even a smaller thing, and you are a micro, not even a micro dot. And you think you are great. And only become big, big headed. <laughs> So, oh, I mean, well, uh, well, well, well. That's how it is. I mean, well, the human nature is, is always uh, arrogant because Anavam Madangi Nathan, that's a Chilipurthan. Other than Anavam Aliki, other Adako, I'm Bulan Adangi Nathan. Trouble is, I know sometimes some people mm. they come to the temple to feed the Anavam. Yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway, good time talk to you. Because yeah, thank you, thank you, Doctor. I, I, I learned a lot yeah. uh, today. Okay. Thank you. 